welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel and the Nostalgic Runner. We are back for another routine, and we haven't reviewed this person for a while, um, but we're back. <laughs> um, this is Evolve Now, and this video that we're going to be reviewing, um, Evolve Now Yoga for Athletes, and we're going to be reviewing um, something he released about two weeks ago. It's called Easy Stretches After Leg Day Workout, five minute. Um, yoga. So y'all already know I started my ha half marathon training. So my legs are going to be fatigue on a very regular basis now moving forward. And oh, by the way, I am going to be sharing that journey a lot more as far as like what I do to um, run like the different um, workouts I'm doing during the week. I will start sharing that in the Get Fit With Me series presents accountability. I'm also, I did start this a little bit, but then kind of fell off on it. And I'm going to go back to doing this again. A couple of weeks ago, I put a video out there about what I do to help get my circulation going when it comes to like my ankles and Achilles. Because I, as someone who has been running, well now since, jeez. I can't believe I've been running this long, but I started running in um, 2008. So, <laughs> um, and I know people have run, ran way longer than that, but it's going on, geez, it's going on, going on 15 years, like a little bit longer, a little bit over 15 years now since I've been started running. Um, well, with that being said, I do a lot of like long distance running and trail running. Things that, yes, you know, um, unfortunately, <laughs> I have a tendency of getting um, Achilles tend tendonitis because I, well, I overuse it like a lot. <laughs> I walk a lot too. And also on top of that, I also cycle. And then once it gets nicer out, I'm in a city. It's very, it's very walkable, pedestrian-ish friendly city. So yeah, my legs, every day is leg day. <laughs> no joke, every day is leg day, which is why this routine is going to be a good routine to do. But also, um, the other thing I was mentioning is I will be showing, mo sharing more of some of the things I do before I start running because I do have to do extra things before I start running moving forward because I've gotten older and, you know, the goal is for this year is I actually am doing a 50K, which is a little over 30 mile run, <laughs> about 32-ish miles um, on a trail, so a trail run. But I need to make it where my ankles and Achilles can handle that kind of impact for a long amount of time again. And also, unfortunately, with the weight gain, that doesn't help it. So. We're gonna find. We're gonna work around it. I'm gonna show you things that I do to help with that, to help combat that, so I can keep my active lifestyle and nothing's getting in the way of that. But anyway, that was a long intro. Let's get into this video. <laughs> so in today's practice, this is gonna be um, all legs. So yep. Every day is leg day. Um, and most of this practice, if not all of it, actually the whole entire practice, we're going to be doing this pretty much seated. Um, so not a lot, um, not much standing. There's no, um, I don't believe we have any downward facing dogs with this. Uh, yeah, just going to be all kind of like leg work. And um, it is a quick routine, seven minutes roughly um in and out so yeah hopefully you enjoy this and don't forget to um like comment and subscribe and also check out um the original content creators um channel which i'll put the link in the description thank you Thank you. 
Hi, so that does conclude the video for today and <clears throat> how it rated. Um, I am going to give it a solid nine. It was good. It was, it was really, really good. I didn't realize how tight my legs were. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah, they were tight. Um, I actually did speed work yesterday, so that was actually perfect for getting that figured out the next day. Um, 
Now, question, what do I do for a speed work? You'll have to find out watching my Get Fit With Me series presents accountability, but because I am doing, we're, we're at day two of half marathon training, so that's what's happening right now. And I'm excited, I'm pumped, I feel more, I'm feeling as motivated as I used to, and I'm fully healthy for once. <laughs> Because last year, child, I tried to do training and it just, I mean, I did it, but it was not my best effort. So I think this time around, I've been a lot more patient with myself, trying to get myself back to the base I was at before, because we're not where I want to be yet. That's, that's one thing. I'm not where I want to be yet when it comes to that, but we're getting there. <laughs> and this type of thing as far as working on your recovery after a workout helps. So um, thank you. It was, a good, it was definitely a good practice. Um, one of the favorite things that I liked on this practice, though, was um, the hip work. So kind of cradling your leg. Um, <laughs> that, was, that was nice. And then also a modified, kind of his modified version of like a pigeon pose. Um, not the full on like stretch of the pigeon pose, but just kind of like just a little bit easier version of it. Um, because after leg day, it is not always good to do a full on pigeon pose. You actually can might end up, you might overstretch. That is one of those poses that is tricky and you could easily overstretch. I found that out kind of early in my running um, because it feels good, but you don't, sometimes you don't know when to stop and you can easily like overextend um, with the pigeon pose after running. Cause you know, when you run, that's all hips. That's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> um, hips, hamstrings, quads. It's your legs. It really is leg day there. But anyway, so I enjoy the routine. Hopefully you did too. Definitely go check out his channel. I'll put in the link in the description per usual. Um, Evolve Now, um, Yoga for Athletes. It does his thing. But anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you get anything out of the content, it's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.